hold um 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 uh um uh frillac frillac but anyways um um and um that's how i discovered train vegan v takes your v card it's just food So silk is one of those things that I think people just seem to ignore, but silk is not vegan and it's not cruelty free. These come from silk worms. Distributors boil worms alive inside their cocoon. This is all like a fiber that a silk worm produces to make their cocoon. So, oh my God, so sad. There are so many other alternatives that are inexpensive, very accessible, and that's just not something that I would ever purchase because I don't have to. There's obviously always the higher end option pieces that I like treasure last year at the mercy free animals gala I um, won an auction and that beautiful piece is this gown by vote couture it's beautiful I love the color I love the netting on the neck she has stunning options Leanne the designer has such good taste and like timeless quality pieces Darling. Another specifically vegan company and designer is this company called Delicate Rain. They make beautiful pieces as well. They're very eco-friendly. A lot of their products are made from organic materials, which cut back on pollution and damage done to the ecosystem from other fashion companies and just the fashion industry as a whole. So check out Delicate Rain. There's also like for a man, cause a lot of men like those big like trench coats and that sort of thing. Um, you can look up Brave Gentlemen. That's got a really good selection of men's clothing. I think they have suits and belts and I wanna say they have shoes. Let's talk about fur. Fur is literally the fur of an animal that is still stuck to their skin, that is then skinned off of their entire bodies with their skin still attached to that so then they can like maintain the fur. Um, and this comes from bears, beavers, cats, chinchillas, dogs, foxes, minks, rabbits, uh, seals, raccoons, all of these animals. There is an option for beautiful faux fur coats. I found this brand called Unreal Fur. They have awesome, awesome on-trend coats. I have actually two of theirs, and this is one of my favorites. So check out Unreal Fur. Something that seems to always be hiding in so many items. Wool is one of those things that I just find so common, especially if you live in cold weather areas where you're wearing heavy coats or sweaters. Wool is a very common ingredient, okay? And wool comes from sheep or lamb. It's not as if they're just giving them a little trim. That is a misconception. Okay, you guys, so I'm wearing this awesome, the shape of it, it's just fantastic. It like comes out at the bottom, it's like a teacup, but it's so warm, so warm that I probably shouldn't even be wearing it right now because I'm sweating. It says recycled synthetic uh, polyester fibers. So her stuff is made from recycled materials and I do believe that that first item says organic cotton for the shell. So slightly different, you're gonna pay a little more for this, but this is something that you keep for a long time and you treasure and you just love. I found this H&M coat that was perfect for cold weather if I had to go to New York for work or whatever. And this is just like a simple petticoat that H&M made. And I'm gonna show you what um, the actual material is made of and I'll show you the tag right now. So these are the things to look for. The shell is made of polyester, viscose, elastin, polyester. It's a common ingredient. <laughs> I don't know why I keep saying ingredient. We're not talking about food, you guys. We're not talking about food. Now, I had mentioned that there are alternatives for warm, warm coats for people who usually wear coats with uh, down or feathers in general in their coats. This is my favorite option. It's not a huge coat, but they do have huge coats. I love the style, the diagonal zipper, so cute. The color, 
Um, the inside is like so cute and special and unique. She'll give information how many items she's made of this product. Definitely give Vote Couture a check out. So the exciting thing are these big companies have all vowed to go completely for free, some including The Gap, H&M, Zara is for free, Gucci recently went for free, and Michael Kors recently went for free. I think Michael Kors, the designer himself, went vegan, which is one of the reasons why he decided to go for free as a company. I'm not exactly sure, don't quote me on that. If you're curious to see what companies went for free and whether or not you wanna support them as a whole, just search what companies are for free. But there are a lot that are making those changes, which is really comforting. <laughs> There's probably a squirrel out there and Sophie heard it. So here are some brands that you can wear instead. Express, The Gap. The Gap seems pretty friendly across the board. I'm noticing their name a lot. Nasty Gal as well, Urban Outfitters. Nylon, Milkweed Pod Fibers, Silk Cotton Tree, Polyester, Rayon. Those are all animal-free materials that mimic the look of a silk so that would make it completely cruelty free. So if you see those items on a tag, you are fine. Thank you, thank you. Thank you so much for watching D Takes Your V Card. Um, yeah, I don't know what else to say. Darling, my heart was